We're just getting the documents, Your Honor. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, Glenn, um, back to the questioning. Uh, I'd like to ask you, we talked about March 24th. Did you encounter any of the respondents on March 26th? Do you recall? Yeah, I hope so. Yes, uh, the same Garrett Ian, female, pink hair, 11 o'clock and on. I do not know her name. And Lynn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you your memory of specific dates. And if you need to refer to these as notes to refresh your recollection, is that appropriate? Absolutely. Do you recall if you encountered any of the respondents on March 27th, 2015? Yes, it scared Ian in mid-morning. Do you recall if you encountered any of the respondents on April 1st, 2015. Yes, Garrett Ian, 1300, and the arrow means uh, for the rest of my day. You know, just just to save time, I mean, if I can have my give my client a minute to review this document, I'm probably prepared to stipulate that she saw him on those <coughs> dates at those times. So we'll go through each one, then, Your Honor, for the complete record of the frequency of the interactions with the defendants. Okay, one counsel at a time. You're, there's there's a counsel who's questioning the witness. One counsel at a time. I understand that you looked at me, Judge. I, I okay. Your Honor, my feelings are the same. I would like to be able to go through for a clear record and address the days that Lynn remembers the respondent showing up. Okay, well, we'll we'll proceed that way. The objections overruled. Lynn, did you see any of the respondents on April third? Yes, uh, Garrett Ian, and I have afternoon only. Do you recall if you saw any of the respondents on April 22nd? Correct, it was Garrett Ian from 12.30 to the end of my day. Do you recall if you saw any of the respondents on April 24th? Yes, Garrett Ian again, and I noted down 11.45 with an arrow again, meaning the rest of my day. Do you remember anything about that day? I know I wrote down bad day in parentheses. Why would you have done that? Well, it, wait, again, it calls upon her to speculate. If she knows, I don't have a problem with asking the question, but I, I, the way he was asked made it sound like her to ask her to speculate. Do you, do you recall what took place that day? I do not. You do not, okay. Do you recall seeing the respondents on April 29th, 2015? Correct. Uh, the same Gary Ian, and it says 1415 in an arrow. Do you recall seeing any respondents on April 30th, 2015? That would be Garrett Ian, and I have written down 1245 and for the rest of the day. Do you recall seeing any of the respondents on May 4th, 2015? That would be Garrett Ian, and I noted down 1235 with an arrow for the rest of the day. Do you recall seeing any of the respondents on May 5th, 2015? That would be Garrett Ian plus female, unknown to me. That's why I wrote female from 1430 to the end of my day. Do you recall seeing any of the respondents on May 6, 2015? Uh, Garrett Ian, and I have 1430 down here, and that would mean that that's probably the only time I've seen him that day. There's no arrow. 
you recall seeing any of the respondents on May 13th, 2015? Yeah, so it's Garrett Ian in the female with the pink hair. I do not know her name. From 12:20 to the end of the day, my day. So if I could pause on May 13th for one second, based on what you just said, are you sometimes followed by more than one person? Sometimes, yes. How does that make you feel? Well, <laughs> it's, in, it's intimidating because um, I try to do my best to keep my distance and to stay away. And with two people, it can make that more difficult. Do you recall seeing any of the respondents on May 21st, 2015? That would be Garrett Ian. About on May 22nd, 2015, do you recall seeing any of the respondents? Yes, uh, Garrett Ian in the fem same female. Do you know who that person is that keeps... I don't know her name. I've, I've never asked. Or if I've been told, I don't recall. Do I understand, though, that you think she's working with Garrett Ian? They Check the word working. Do you feel that they're together? Yes. Do you recall seeing any of the respondents on May 26, 2015? Yes, Garrett Ian. Do you recall seeing any of the respondents on June 11, 2015? A Garrett Ian and female. We've just talked about many interactions that you've had. And so if I could pause for a second here, what are the impact, what's the impact of those interactions on I, you? Yeah, all right, again, this is like, first of all, he's testifying. Um, secondly, I mean, he, he's asking specific questions. Now he's asking for essentially an opinion. I mean, he's asked in terms of specifics what the effect was. Now he's asking her essentially editorialized to give an opinion. What is the impact on, on you just generally from, I'm, I'm not sure I what you're asking. It, I can break it down. What's the impact on your feelings of personal safety, if any? I get, a, I feel a little panicked when I, eye, when I eye them. What's the impact on your feeling of being able to do your job, if any? The impact is, is I feel like I use most of my time trying to stay away and get away from them. Does this cause you stress and anxiety? Oh, yes. I apologize if I asked you this question already, but do you recall seeing any of the respondents on June 11th, 2015? Yes, Garrett Ian. Do you recall seeing any of the respondents on June 17th, 2015? Yes, Garrett Ian. Do you recall seeing any of the respondents on June 18th, 2015? I have free keen, so I'm assuming it was him, it might have been him and others. I didn't note their names. Well, let me ask you, uh, what does the term free keen mean to you, if you can clarify? Uh, it's a group of uh, people that have a like-minded way of looking at things. So does that reference mean that you're being followed by a group? More than one. Do you recall seeing any of the respondents on June 19th, 2015? Uh, Garrett Ian. Do you recall seeing any of the respondents on July 2nd, 2015? Garrett Ian. Do you recall seeing any of the respondents on July 14th, 2015? Garrett Ian. Do you recall seeing any of the respondents on July 15th, 2015? Garrett Ian. Do you recall seeing any of the respondents on August 5th, 2015? Garrett Ian and female.
Do you recall these instances where you've had interactions with Mr. Ian as ones that have made it so that you are unable to do your job because of him? Again, Your Honor, it's, it's both a leading question and it's redundant. Is it, it is leading, sustained as leading. What impact, if any, is there on you when Mr. Ian is present? All right, again, that's been asked and answered. I'll withdraw the question. What time period did this gap report cover, the days that we just spoke about? Start to finish? Yeah, roughly. Roughly. And you're going to talk in months. Oh, time-wise, clock-wise, or days or? I'm, I'm looking for, you can talk seasonally if you want. Was this in the spring, the fall, the winter? Well, it would have been late winter, according to this that I have right here. So if you can, I, I don't mean to belabor this June. point, but can you tell us from your recollection what, or from refreshing your recollection by looking at your notes, what months these were? It's March. 2015 to August of 2015. We were last before the court in the summer and fall of 2013. Do these notes reflect a sample of the interactions that you've had with Mr. Ian? Again, I did not, I did not understand that question. I'll rephrase it. Are these the only times that you've interacted with Mr. Ian in the past two years? I've noted down the times. That's the, essentially what that notation is for. What about in the months prior to this, from October 2013 through May 2015? Did you have any interactions with him? I'm sure, yes. Can I ask you some questions about things that you previously testified to, and I'd like to you to address them in the context of what's gone on since October 2013. You previously testified that you have, and I'm quoting your words from the transcript, that awful anticipation of, you know, here I am, I'm having a great morning, wait, and wait. then boom. Your Honor, I thought the purpose of this hearing as we stated at the beginning of the hearing, was to testify as to what has occurred since October 2013. Um, rehashing her testimony from X number of years ago um, certainly doesn't accomplish that. I mean, she's been asked about specific events occurring since then, and he can ask, if he has more questions about that, I have no objection. But, but to ask whether essentially um, she still feels the same that she felt before, it's not, I, I don't see what relevant, I mean, or, it, it just, it, it, it's just beyond the scope of what I thought we were addressing today. Response. Your Honor, my understanding is, is that we're here today to talk about the impact in the last two years. That can't be severed from what went on the prior two to three years. There, uh, there's a continuum of events. No if, I may, if I may finish. And so what I'm intending to ask Lynn is if the testimony that she gave in 2013 is still an accurate representation over the last two years of what she's feeling. So it sounds like they're going to relate it to how she feels from October 2013 well, to the present. Well, That's correct. Well, he said whether, if he wants to ask her that question, I suppose he can ask her that question, although again, it seems to me outside the scope of things. But I mean, if he keeps, I mean, you can ask this one question. He seemed to be in the process of asking us 20 questions. Right. I, I, and I don't think it's necessary to, to sort of to re, re I mean, just to, 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 to sort of quote her back to herself is not necessary. I'm, I'm going to allow it overall. And I'm, and I'm going to be brief, Your Honor. This is not a long line of questioning here. You, you previously testified that you have awful <coughs> anticipation of, you know, here I am. I'm having a great morning, and then boom, there's someone there, and it all starts. Are you still having that feeling? Yes. You also previously testified 
Sometimes I just hear foot, can just hear footfalls behind me, and I just tense all up. It's just, it's waiting, waiting for this whole game to start. Can I'm I, still having this feeling. Yeah. Can I just sum it up that as far as the before and after the last trial, there has been no change in how I feel. I have no further questions, Your Honor. Thank you. Why don't we take a, a short break? I'm guessing this is going to be more than, than a five-minute examination. I just want to take a, a, a break, and then we'll resume Fine. the testimony. Thank you. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 